There's a battle stirring up in the Georgia legislature over electric cars. A bill in the House would allow electric car makers to skip the middleman and sell directly to customers. But there's some strong opposition here. 11 Alive's Doug Richards explains. You've probably never seen this all-electric SUV from a company called Rivian Automotive or this all-electric pickup truck which can use the independent motors in its wheels to spin on its axis. Or this electric car from a company called Lucid Motors, which claims it can go more than 500 miles on one charge. The companies behind these electric cars want to open their own retail shops in Georgia this year, except state law won't allow it. The law is enforcing a monopoly on distribution, but for a, a single automaker. And that uh, right there, I think, is, is sort of the critical point. That automaker is Tesla. Six years ago, the Georgia legislature allowed a handful of Tesla-owned dealerships. Now, these other electric car companies want to open manufacturer-owned dealerships. But state law protects traditional independent auto dealers who are lobbying hard against it. If we go towards a direct sales model like HB 460 would provide, we could potentially be jeopardizing 30,000 franchise dealership jobs here in Georgia and 70,000 total franchise dealership related jobs. I think a lot of folks in Georgia would be surprised to know that state law requires the presence of a middleman in auto sales. State law exists to benefit not only the manufacturers and the dealers, but most importantly, the customers. The Georgia Automobile Dealers Association says startup electric car makers ought to sell by way of dealerships, the way old school automakers have done for decades. The Auto Dealers Association has a strong voice in the capital. A disclosure report shows the group made some $80,000 in campaign contributions, mostly to members of the legislature late last year. It's just not a business model that works for us. So let me be clear, we are not going to use franchise auto dealers. The electric car startups are hoping that their bill will get a hearing in the legislature next week. And the dealerships are hoping that the bill's prospects will end right there. All right, Doug, thanks.